Hello, welcome to this video. This is another video on date range input. However, unlike the previous video, in this video we are going to use data from a CSV file. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, read the CSV file and then uh, fetch the uh, date column variable and use it within the date range input. The reason we are going to do this is to see how R reads the date column variable from a CSV. Um, it might not really be in, in a date format as such. Also, uh, sometimes um, uh, in the date column uh, in the CSV, we might have um, time values as well. So let's go back to our studio and see uh, what needs to be done in such cases uh, the other rest, rest of the code is pretty much same to uh, what we have done last time Okay, I'm in our studio and I have the dates.csv file in my working directory So I begin with loading the shiny package I read the file using read.csv name of the file dates.csv header equals to and string s factors equals false let me run this line. Let's check on the structure of the data set. If we see R has read the expense.date column as character. And also if you see along with date, um, this is 1st of March, along with date we have got time as well, 0 colon 0 0. And we've got second March we've got time so time is also up, uh, added to the date so what needs to be done what we need to do before we can use this in um, in in date range input we need to convert this expense dot date variable to date format an easy solution is to use as dot date function so we'll say dates dollar expense dot date equals as dot date we'll use that column variable name and we'll give the format it is in so it's in month and date month percent m percent d and then we've got minutes and seconds so percent m percent s now if we do this this will be converted into date format also it will drop the time because as dot date does not support time let me run this and now if we do str on dates we can see it's in date format uh, it's converted to the default yyy mm dd format and also the time is dropped from it and it's good to use in our in rest of the code down below uh, uh, pretty much all the code is same so we have got the UI uh, we've got some headings we've got date range input um, the input ID is given as date range label is given as select the date range we've got the start date which is the minimum of the expense date variable we have got the end date which is maximum of the expense date variable we, we set the minimum and maximum for the date range the format is default the separator is given in there then we are giving some text outputs uh, we are um, uh, displaying the start date uh, selected by the user the end date the range and the subset data this is nothing but whatever we have done in the previous video in the server section uh, we are just using uh, the uh, um, the input dollar date range one which is nothing but will give the uh, start date we are displaying that then we are also displaying the um, um, end date so it comes with input dollar date range two and then we are uh, displaying the range from start date to end date and then the subset output right so we are uh, displaying in uh, from the table we have taken the status the completed counts and the cancelled counts for a given date range so this is uh, pretty much what we have uh, the basic idea was to uh, take care that if it is character variable we should convert this into date format and how to do that thank you